So if you're like me, you've taken hundreds upon thousands of images and they're just sitting there. What are you doing with them? With all of the devices today, from your mobile phone to various cameras, you capture memories all of the time. With Corel FastFlix, you can turn those memories into movies and create movies in minutes. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how. With three easy steps, we have a movie we can share. Step one, select your template. By simply clicking on the thumbnail and pressing the preview button, you can preview the various templates. And you can always come back to this step. Once you've added your media, you can come back here and preview what each template looks like with your own media. Step two, let's add your media. Drag and drop your media into this icon or you can press the plus button and you can locate the files on your computer. Once your files are in here, if you need to reorder them, you can simply click on the file you want to move and drag it along. You'll see in the timeline here these purple bars. These represent the text within your video. By dragging your scrubber along, you'll see that the text icon highlights when you've come to one. By clicking on this, we can now customize our text. We can change the text in the preview menu. And once you've added the text you want, you can highlight it, you can change the font, the size, the color in the menu to the right. You can also move the location of the text and also put it on an angle using the pink scrubbers on the side. In the menu on the right, you can also select the music track you want for your video. You can choose from the options here or you can upload your own. By selecting the pan and zoom option, it'll add some movement to your images so they're not just still. But the best part about FastFlix is this last option. FastFlix builds the template in the project around your media. It'll be the length of the number of images you've uploaded and that's what this option is saying, to fit the music to the media. Once you've previewed your movie and are happy with it, the last step is save and share. You can upload your movie directly to your social media account, save it as a file option on your computer, or you can continue editing it in Video Studio if you want to add some more personal touches. But I've created this movie to share with my friends and family, so I'm going to upload it to my Facebook account. By logging in, I can even set the caption I want to display in this program. It's that easy. And that's Fast Flicks. In minutes, I can create movies to share and really relive those memories. It's fun for me and it's fun for those who get to see it.